Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I would like to show you how to create a Facebook business page. Very first thing is to go to Facebook.com and go ahead and log in with your personal account information. Your business page will need to be linked to that personal account, so you'll just use your normal login and password to get into Facebook. You can tell you're under that personal account by the profile photo right here in the top right. And now the second step is to look for these nine circles in a square right here. This is your menu options. There's a great quick link here now for creating a page. So under the Create menu, choose Page. And on the left hand side is where we will be entering the information for this page and on the right hand side is where you can preview that. So you can click right here to see it in desktop view or even in mobile preview if you would like. We'll just leave it on desktop for now. Next step is to add your page name so you can type in whatever you would like that to be. I already have one with that name so let me make it a little different. And then the next is to choose your category. Assuming this is going to be real estate, you can begin typing in real estate and just choose whichever ones that you would like your page to be included in the category of. And then biography is optional here, but you can choose to place whatever information you would like there. Please note this is editable after you create this page. And so you can come back at any time and just add more information if you'd like. Now we'll go ahead and create that page. It does take it just a second. It will begin giving us edit options on the left hand pane again and actually show us where our page health stands. So it's fair right now because we don't have a whole lot added in. It lets us add contact information like a website. So we'll go ahead and add that. If you'd like to put a phone number or an email, you can do that here. You can also enter like a work location, office location here, and choose your hours. You can choose no hours, always open, or open at select hours. If you do selected hours, it does let you adjust those per day, whatever you would like, opening and closing hours. For us, we'll just go ahead and put always open and click next. Now it wants you to add the photos if you would like. Again, you can add these after um, this or come back to it at any time and edit it. But for today, we'll just go ahead and add a profile photo. You could simply just drop in a photo there as well if you would like. We're just choosing the plus sign so that we can add those in from our um, device here. Go ahead and get those chosen. It'll let you drag and reposition if you need to. You can even hit the trash can and delete those and add different ones if you'd like. Now the action button. This is an optional action button that you can add onto your business page. And if you choose to do this, it'll let you choose what the action actually does. So what will the consumer be able to do when they click that action button. For you as a realtor, it may be a great way for them to connect with you. And so we'll just go ahead and choose that they can send a Facebook message to us, but you can go ahead and link your WhatsApp or have them call you um, and reach out through email, whichever way you would prefer. We'll just go ahead and choose Facebook Messenger and click Next. It makes sure that this is the messenger that you want them to connect with you through. Hit Save. And now that action button will appear on our Facebook business page. So we'll hit next. Takes it just a second. This is where you can connect your WhatsApp. Again, if you would like to do that, go ahead. You can come back at a later date and add that as well. We'll go ahead and skip it. Notice our page health has gone up to good because we've added more information. It does give you an option to add friends we currently do not have any friends on the personal account because this is a demo account. If you have friends on your personal account, it would give you an option here to get them added to your business page as well. We'll go ahead and click next. And it chooses, it gives you an option to choose your notifications. So you can choose page notifications on your profile if you'd like to receive those and marketing and promotional emails if you'd like to choose those. Hit done at the bottom. It'll bring you to your business page right here on the right, and you can view that. Let you take a tour if you would like. We're going to choose not now. And it just, again, lets us know that we are under the Mandy new business page profile. 
we'll just dismiss that notification. And the next step that would be a great option to do is to make sure that you've created a username for this page. That means up here in the address bar where you can see the URL for your Facebook business page, you can customize what this is right here at the end, that slug right there. And you would do that by clicking settings right here. It's gonna let you choose your username right here. Just go ahead and click edit. This is also where you would change the name to your Facebook page if you would like. But we'll just go ahead and choose a username see if it'll let us choose this not available let me make a new one perfect and it'll let you know the username is available and you can save changes it may require your password at that point just a second there we go All right, and that is your username. So now your business profile is available by going to facebook.com forward slash and then the username you chose. So it can be a little more personalized for you. Just gonna click the Facebook right here to go back. And go back to our business page again, just by clicking the name on the left-hand side. And to be able to go back and make those edits, just remember it does populate right here on your Facebook business page for you to see, not a consumer, but for you to see. You can come and see how healthy your page is, choose see more and get those things edited right here. You can also come over to edit your about information quickly by choosing the edit button right there. And one more option, you can always come to manage your page. Now this goes into a different view here. So not only do you get your page overview, recent content, things like that, but you'll notice on the right hand side here that you can actually grow your audience by finishing to set up your page. And it lets you know that you've only done eight of 14 steps. So you can come right here and go ahead and get started on those steps to get that completed. If you would like to add more information okay and so at any time you can click the account profile at the top right and choose to go back to your page there you go if you have any questions at all about setting up this business page please reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to assist you thanks for watching